In today's video, we are going to be abusing up the Beanstalk. This is a two mana enchantment that when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. And whenever you cast a spell, CMC five or greater, you also draw a card. And in modern, where we have free spells like Solitude and cheap spells like Leyline Binding that actually cost more than five mana, this becomes an absurd card advantage engine. And if you don't believe me, in this video, we're going to be playing a zero mana spell and drawing four cards off of it. So the game plan of this deck is to draw our entire deck, then start casting Nexus of Fate and take all the turns. And before before we get into the first round, I want to thank Gargoyle for giving me the deck list, and I hope you all enjoy this video. Let's get into the first round. Match one, we are on the play, and our starting hand looks great. We'll lead on turn one, tapped Hollow Fountain. When it goes turn one, Foothills, we top took a Deluge, we'll play Castle Fantress. When it plays that A1 So Teeth, and looks like we're missing a land drop here. When it plays a Temple Garden, we find a land, we will pass. Land for the opponent, land for us, let's go. An opponent plays out a Strand, we'll pick up a Temple Garden and cast a Memory Deluge. And we will pick up a Misty and an up the Beanstalk. We find a Solitude, we will play a Beanstalk, finding a Binding, and then we will play out a Misty. And on the end step, opponent casts out a Leyline binding taking out our beanstalk and we go to clean up discarding a prismatic ending opponent plays out a run in six they take up picking up a land and then they cast a teferi which we will counter spell we top deck a breeding pool we will cast out our own teferi down tick on their leyline binding then we draw a card with our beanstalk finding a wilderness wreck and then we will play out a tap breeding pool opponent takes up with their rin then casting an ending on our beanstalk into a prismatic ending on our teferi then playing out a flooded strand and another wilderness wreck so let's play out a up the beanstalk <laughs> third one interesting then we will play out a leyline binding drawing a card off the beanstalk and in response to that they cast the leyline binding taking out our beanstalk and we will leyline binding their leyline binding getting another card draw off of our up the beanstalk oh they have another leyline binding so they're gonna leyline binding our leyline binding that's leyline binding their leyline binding so let's cast out another leyline binding taking out the leyline binding that's taking our up the beanstalk drawing another beanstalk and i'm actually gonna cycle a solitude here i really want to find a land and we do so we We'll play at our strand. Oh, it ticks up with their rin. Ooh, they have a bring to light. Getting an Elishnorn, which is actually not that scary. And we find a Leyline Binding. So we will cast out our Wilderness Reclamation. Then we will cast an up the Beanstalk, which will not draw a card. And we will go to our end step, loading a mana off of our Triome. And we'll just pass back. They tick up with their rin, laying out a Nissa. Then they attack in for four, playing out a land, getting two triggers off of Nissa. Finding a Fury. Uh, they play out an Omnath. So let's cast a memory deluge here and we will pick up a counter spell and a prismatic ending and we will counter their omnath and they fetch out two lands making four mana with nissa and they play out the one ring getting two triggers funny then fire off a fire ice to face putting us down to seven we find another land let's fire off our prismatic ending killing their elishnorn and then we get two draws from up the beanstalk finding nexus of fate huge so let's fire off our leyline binding drawing two more taking out their Run in six. Then we will shock in a hallowed fountain. Go to our instep. Loading two mana. Triggering wilderness wreck. Then we will play our nexus of fate. Take an extra turn. And two cards. <laughs> then we will fire off a leyline binding. Drawing another two. Finding a nexus of fate. Taking out their leyline binding. And this means that we get our leyline binding back. And then we'll leyline binding. They're wondering. Elshorn's a good top deck. Let's play out a wilderness wreck. Into another wilderness wreck. Go to our instep. Untap once. Floating a bunch of mana. Untap again and then getting one more on tap let's cast the nexus of fate drawing two then cycle a shark typhoon for what seems like a million 15 to be exact then go to our next turn and let's go for lethal opponent scoops up let's get on to sideboarding we're gonna take out two endurances for two force of vigor game two our starting hand looks amazing when it goes turn one heath we would go turn one triumph when it plays a tap temple garden Ooh, up the beanstalk we'll play out our castle vantress and play that out when it shocks into the stomping ground and then plays a teferi bouncing our beanstalk we will shock in our hallowed fountain and then fire off a prismatic ending when it plays out eight planes we will cast out our up the beanstalk finding a force of vigor and then we will play out a flooded strand and on our instep they flash an endurance they attack with endurance play out an island and go for an ending on our beanstalk so we will fetch out a triumph and then cast our leyline binding draw in a card Ooh, big to fairy huge so we will play out an island and then cast big to fairy then we will tick up salt it's a good pickup and on the instep they flash in another endurance so we'll untap our rogan triumph and our zygoth triumph and cast their own up the beanstalk and then they they attack their Teferi for three, passing back. Ooh, Elish Norn. Let's tick up. And a Teferi. Oh my goodness. All right, let's play Teferi. Bouncing their Endurance. Then cast Prism. 
mag ending on the up the beanstalk, then playing out a misty, passing back. Oh, and on our end step, they do besage our line binding. So let's pick up a untapped breeding pool. And on it goes to combat, attacking our Teferi. So let's cycle a shark typhoon, making a 1 1, jump blocking the endurance, keeping our Teferi alive. Oh, they have a fury. That's pretty good. It's going to clean up both our Teferis. We find another land. We will play out our Elish Norn, then play out a flood strain, and nothing from the opponent. We find another Lorn revealed. We will cast out one of our Solitudes, killing both of their creatures, then playing a forest and attacking in for four. Focus tapped Halifound, another Elish Torn for us. Let's fire off our Lorn revealed. <laughs> uh, let's play out our land, attack in with the team, then cast out our Wilderness Reclamation. Oh, they have a, wait, they have a Force of Air? That does nothing. The trigger already happened. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna cast eight Fury, and I think we'll just go for the win here. Cast out two Solitudes on our end step. Oh, wait, I mistapped. I'm so dumb. Wait, do I? I didn't have enough. Oh, I didn't have enough whites. But okay, I played this bad. And when that resolves, the opponent scoops up. Let's get on to match number two. Match two, we are on the draw, and hand looks quite strong. Opponent goes turn one Flooded Chan. We'll go turn one Misty. Opponent plays out an island. We'll fetch out Triumph. Oh, uh, looks like we're up against Mill here. Interesting. And they surgical our Wilderness Rex. No! Well, good thing we do have a main deck Endurance. And since we do have main deck Endurance, we're going to pick up a Greenland. Then they Archive Trap us. Not milling an Endurance. We find an ending. We will shock in our Hallowed Fountain. Passing. We're going to cast a Visions of Beyond. And then they play out a Field. We find another Binding. We will play on an Island. We're going to cast a Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Oh, exiling both of our Endurances. That is not good. And we find a Misty. And yeah, at this point, we just have no way of winning. We just lost both of our Endurances. So let's scoop it up and get on to sideboarding. We are going to take out two Elishnorn, two Solitude, and the Leyline Binding for two forest two fluster storm and an endurance game two we have endurance and a counter spell so we gotta keep we'll go flood strain and instantly fetch playing around an archive trap it goes turn one island into a ruin crab Ooh, we do find a ley line binding so let's play a flooded strain that shock out a temple garden and cast out a ley line binding uh, they do have an archive trap milling over three of our counter spells too an opponent cycles a fractured serenity and while they're tapped out we will play an island and cast our endurance it plays out in a burrow into a fractured sanity and milling only milling over one of our endurances we find a misty we will play that out fetch our triome oh wait we don't even have our triome left fetch out an island and then attack in for three we'll cast out to fairy and we will counter this into a shellblock isle we find an up the beanstalk we will play out our island and cast our lord revealed then attack in for three we'll cast out a hedron crab into a fetch land milling us for three and we find a wilderness wreck let's play out our planes cast a prismatic ending killing out their crab and in response to that they do fetch out a tap triome then we will cast out our wilderness wreck attack in for three then untap all of our lands we we'll want to activate Ottawara bouncing our late line binding and they play out an island so we will cycle our strike typhoon making a 4-4 four, four. and we'll play out our forest that we drew cast out a ley line binding on the crab and opponent scoops it up let's get on to game three game two our hand's a little risky but we will keep i don't know turn one tiled fountain into a crab we find a fluster storm we will shock in our hallowed fountain and kill their crab i don't cast out another crab into a tapped hallowed fountain hey we do find a land so we'll play that out and then cast another ending on the crab and opponent cast a tasha city laughter we will fetch shock and cast a fluster storm on this we find a shark typhoon we will cast out and up the beanstalk finding the land when it cycles a fractured sanity then plays out an island Ooh, endurance off the top huge let's cycle our shark typhoon we do want to keep the screen card in our hand finding an ending when it cycles another fractured sanity then plays out a flood strand into an oust and we find a land we will fetch picking up a breeding pool and opponent fires off an archive trap and in their upkeep we will cast a memory deluge Ooh, picking up memory deluge and a force negation an opponent plays out a Teferi, which we will force negation, exiling a memory deluge. We find another up the beanstalk. We will cast that out. Finding the hallowed fountain, which we will play out tapped. Then opponent plays out a Jace the Perfected Mine, doing a huge minus. And we're down to one card in deck. So we draw for turn, finding a flood strand. Then we will cast out our endurance with no cards left in our deck. Then we will play out our flood strand, fetching right away, picking up a Zygoth Triumph. An opponent paths our endurance, and we'll pick up an island. We draw a Lorne revealed. We will cast out our Nexus of Fate. Drawing two off our beanstalks, playing out a tap breeding pool. We find a solitude. We will cast out a Teferi, play out a beanstalk, play out a flooded strand, and tick up with our Teferi. And nothing from the opponent. Find a counter spell. We will tick up with Teferi. Draw six cards with our Lorne revealed. Mmm, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we will play out another up the beanstalk. And we find a wilderness wreck. So close. So let's discard a prismatic ending. One plays out a field. Or I guess this is a better than an ancestral recall. One mana draw four. We will play out a Wilderness Wreck, then pitch out a Solitude, drawing four, play out our land, cast out a Shark Typhoon, drawing four off of this. 
this. Then we'll go to our end step, float a mana off of our hallowed fountain, cast out a one mana draw four. Oh, and make a make a six six shark typhoon. I forgot about that. Or a six six shark. And there is our nexus of fate. So we will cast that, and that should be game. Oh my triggers. <laughs> And this is only 13, so let's cast out another Lilla Binding, drawing a bunch of cards. All right, now we will pass back to our next turn. And opponent scoops it up. What a sweet win. Let's get on to match number three. Match four, we are on the play, and our hand looks quite strong. We'll lead on turn one of Flooded Strain. Opponent goes turn one Silent Clearing into an Esper Sentinel. We top deck a Nexus of Fate, and we will play out our Misty. Opponent plays out an Ink Moth Nexus into a Springleaf Drum, and then play out a Stoneforge Mystic, picking up a Colossus Hammer. Ooh, Prismatic Ending. We'll play out our Ireland, and then fire off a Prismatic Ending on their sentinel and we will pay for the sentinel and it plays out eight planes into a pure steel into a colossus hammer drawing a card and then they play out a ginger brute equipping their hammer to the ginger brute and attacking in for 12. we find a hollowed fountain we will cast out our teferi and hope we find a leyline binding so let's bounce the ginger brute finding an elo storm that's not going to do it so we'll scoop it up and get on to sideboarding we're going to take out two endurances two counter spells four wilderness rex and a teferi for four force of vigor two chalice and two ease game two we have no lands we have them all and our six looks quite strong we'll put back a solitude we'll lead on turn one strand when it goes turn one planes into a sentinel we top deck an island we will play that out and fire off an ending on the sentinel and we'll pay for it when it plays out an urza saga into a springleaf drum and a giver of runes then runs out a cigar to aid and we find a counter spell so we'll shock in a breeding pool and play out a teferi and we're gonna bounce the giver as weird as that seems finding an up being stuck and in the upkeep we will cast a force of vigor destroying their saga and a cigar to aid cast out an ornithopter into a giver and we find an up the beanstalk we will cast that out find an island we will tick up our teferi and then play out an island or it plays out a giver and we will counter that and they cast out a shadow spear <laughs> ley line binding we will tick up our teferi play out our flooded strand and opponent goes to equip their ornithopter with a shadow spear and nothing else interesting so on the end step we will fire off a ley line binding drawing a card off the beanstalk and we find a shark typhoon so let's take out the giver we find an ending we will tick up our teferi and an opponent attacks in for one we will cycle our shark typhoon for three and opponent scoops up before we do that let's get on to game three game three we will keep our seven and it goes turn one planes we find a ee -E. we'll play out our island and hold up cycling lauren revealed and it plays out a saga and on their end step we will cycle our lauren revealed picking up a rock and triumph we will play out our triumph and we top deck to solitude and it plays out a planes doing nothing we will play out our ee -E on zero and then play a tap breeding pool and opponent makes another construct picking up a hammer off of the saga and another saga for the opponent playing out another colossus hammer and they attack in and yeah we will pop our ee and they play out a memnite we find a deluge we will play out our forest and pass back our attacks in for one and on their end step we will cast a deluge oh my goodness let's pick up land and ee we find an up the beanstalk we will play out our strand then we will cast our up the beanstalk and on our end step they make the construct and they make another construct picking up a springleaf drum they cast out another springleaf drum into an esper sentinel and they attack in for eight and we will fire off a ley line binding we draw a card off the beanstalk then we will fetch shock and pay for the sentinel and we'll take out their construct we top deck a chalice let's play out an ee -E on one pay for the sentinel tax then blow up our ee -E, killing a few artifacts and then play out our misty and they cast out a stoneforge mystic which we will meet with a counter spell and they attack in for three. Oh my goodness what else do we need all right let's play out our elish norn drawing a card finding a solitude oh it plays out an ornithopter and no attacks find a land let's play out our teferi bouncing their construct Find another Elishnor, let's play our Castle Vantress, cast out a Beanstalk, drawing two, then play out a Chalice for one, attacking in. Opponent plays out a Clearing, drawing a card, and they scoop it up. Let's get on to match number four. Match four, we are on the play, and our second hand is just a little too weak here. And this hand also is just not good enough, so we're going down to five. We'll end up keeping, putting back a Nexus of Fate and a Solitude. We'll go turn one Flood Strand. Opponent goes turn one Gardens, we top deck a Castle Vantress, and we'll play out our Forest. Then opponent plays out a Flood Strand, we top deck a Flood Strand as well, we'll play that. Opponent plays out a Valkit, we top deck an Island, we'll play out our Vantress and cast a Castle Vantress. Yeah, and they have a Ley Line Binding, and we are so far behind at this point. Then opponent plays out a Renin Six, ticking up on their Strand. We do find a shark typhoon not a bad one we'll play out our island passing when it takes up with their rin playing out another valakut so let's cycle our shark typhoon we find an up the beanstalk we will cast that out finding another shark typhoon so let's attack a rin when it plays out a flooded strand into a teferi then take up with their rin and on the end step we'll cycle a shark typhoon another up the beanstalk island for us we will cast out our up the beanstalk Ooh, ley line binding let's attack their rin and i guess teferi with the one one and rin falls we'll play out our island and then cast a ley line binding drawing two 
two off of our beanstalks. Uh, this who lands not great. But let's take out their Teferi. And on our end step, they prismatic and a shark. Oh, it plays out a forest into a bringing light. Ooh, finding a Valky. Casting the backside. So we're going to evoke out our solitude and try and find a counter spell here. Lauren revealed counter spell. Let's go. We will counter this, please. Let's go. We actually might be able to win this one because this Lauren revealed is a five mana draw five. And if we find a leyline binding, that means we can take out the leyline binding in our wilderness wreck and we'll be in a decent spot. Then they play out a red and pinging down our shark. We find an endurance. We will play out our planes and then cast a Lauren revealed, drawing five. And no dice for us here. Guess we will Prismatic Ending their Rin. They fire off a Prismatic Ending on a Beanstalk. Then play a Valkit, passing back. We find an Ending, we will play out a Teferi. Then we will bounce our Leyline Binding, finding big Teferi. Shock and a Hallowed Fountain. Cast a Prismatic Ending on their Teferi. Then cast a Leyline Binding, taking out their Leyline Binding, getting us a Wilderness Reclamation back. Then we will go to our end step here, loading a Mana, and still in the end step, we will cast out our Memory Deluge, finding Nexus of Fate and a solitude and we'll discard a breed pool here they play a tap sacred foundry and i think we're gonna win this one find a strand tick up to fairy play big to fairy tick up shock in a breeding pool play out a wilderness wreck and go to our end step we will cast out a nexus of fate drawing a card off the beanstalk then cast out a solitude drawing a card into another solitude then untap to forest and cast out a endurance taking our next turn we will tick up with the fairy tick up with our other to fairy we will draw five with our Lorne revealed or draw four apologies find another wilderness wreck <laughs> let's play that out attack in playing out a tapped hallowed fountain going to our end step untapping all of our lands we will cast a memory deluge from our yard not finding our nexus float some more mana then we will cast out a leyline binding drawing a card cast out another leyline binding drawing a card then cast out a solitude trying to find our oh actually let's uh scry first here trying to find our nexus of fate that does not work but memory deluge helps so we will evoke out our solitude pitching prismatic ending drawing our memory deluge then we will cast our memory deluge after scry now nah, let's just cast this out still no nexus of fate interesting untap our wilder or untap our lands again so we have 12 mana this costs seven and then we also have a teferi untap so i think we have just enough to cast our deluge and try and find this nexus of fate which i have faith that we will find we do find it we will pick that up and i guess a land then untap two lands cast our nexus of fate and yeah that should be ggs and we'll just discard some lands here and in our next turn we just attack in and that's game what a crazy mold of five taking it up let's get on to sideboarding we're gonna bring in two flush of storms two force negations and take out two endurances a solitude and a prismatic ending game two our starting hand looks quite strong when it goes turn one triumph we will join them our fetch shocks and then plays out a written taking up on their land we find a counter spell we will shock in our temple garden and leyline binding their run when it plays out a plains into teferi ticking up Ooh, wilderness wreck actually not great so let's play out our vantress and play our own teferi and we'll join them on ticking up opponent has a prismatic ending taking out our teferi ticking up with theirs and playing out a flood strand on a solitude for us we will fetch out a hallowed fountain and play out our wilderness wreck when it bounces our wreck with their teferi then plays out a flood strand and on the end step we will cycle our shark typhoon we find a lorn revealed we we will attack in with our shark at the Teferi, and we will cycle Lorne Revealed, picking up a breeding pool, play that out, and then cast our Wilderness Wreck. Oh, it takes up with our Teferi, then plays Misty Passing, we will scry two, and these are both good cards. Yeah, we'll keep them both. We really need this Teferi to die though, so let's lead on attacking the Teferi with our shark. They have a Prismatic Ending for that, so let's play out Big Teferi, please resolve, and we will down tick on their Teferi, and in response they flash in a Leyline Binding, taking out our line binding getting back their rin then we untap with wilderness wreck i actually think we're in a pretty decent spot here they down tick their rin killing our teferi then they play out a valakit and we will flash in a solitude we will attack their rin easy then we'll cast our up the beanstalk finding an island and we'll go to our end step float some mana and we will scry two right now with our castle vandress we will bend the land and keep the solitude on top we'll cast out a dryad which we will definitely counter and they play out a flood strand doing nothing else we 
draw our solitude we will attack in and in our end step we will scry before we untap our lands yeah we'll bottom both of these go to mana and then untap everything i'm gonna cast out a teferi which we will force then they play a tap temple garden i think we're gonna win this one too what a crazy game attack in for three make the same play as last turn scrying before we untap and we will bend the land keep teferi floating to mana i'm gonna cast out an elishnorn which i think is fine because we can just bounce that with teferi yeah i think that's okay so on the end step we will flash in our solitude drawing a card nexus of fate okay yeah that's gg Let's play out our Teferi, bounce the Elishnorn, another up the Beanstalk, I guess we will play that. Finding a land, attack in for six, then flip some mana in the end step, cast out a Nexus of Fate, drawing two, and getting an extra turn, and yeah, that's GG's. And opponents gives it up. What an impressive showing so far. Let's get on to the fifth and final match. Match number five, we are on the draw, and our starting hand looks quite powerful. Mono goes turn one Urborg into a Thoughtseize. Taking our Wilderness Wreck, we find a Flood Chan, we will play that out, and pass the turn An opponent plays out a demolition field so we're not gonna fetch and we find our triome so let's play out another strand when it plays out of coffers we top deck another teferi we will play out our island fetch out a hallowed fountain and then cast a teferi and in response to this they demolition field our hallowed fountain so let's pick up a plains and they cast a cling to dust in response to this on our wilderness wreck we'll down tick our teft drawing a card i didn't up the beanstalk good draw i'm gonna cast out a karn picking up a sundering titan <laughs> spooky all right we find a land let's tick up our fairy play out our island then we will fetch out a breeding pool and fire off this prismatic ending on the karn it plays out a demolition field popping our breeding pool so we'll pick up a forest then they blood chiefs there start to fairy all right we need a counter spell bad lauren reveal not it up the beanstalk give me it a line binding Ugh. Yeah, the problem is if we don't find a counter spell the sundering titan's gonna kill everything so let's play out our triome and hope they don't find land here no land no land no land no land. Oh, floats a mana off Urborg, playing another one. Oh no, that means they have eight mana. Don't go for the Titan, please. Okay, they're going for a Kling instead. So fine with that. And nothing else. Okay, I feel fantastic about that. Breeding pool, great draw. We will shock in our breeding pool. Play out our Teferi. Down tick right away, drawing a card. Mon counter spell. Darn you. Okay, this is still fine. No land. Please, opponent. Oh no, they play out a land. They can Sundering Titan. No, stop. Ugh. All right, well, we got to cast that ley line binding give me a counter spell please another ley line binding okay evoke out solitude copium please <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Yeah, I think we're dead here. We didn't have a counter spell opponent. Yikes. All right. Maybe they don't destroy all of my lands. Yeah, they destroy all of my lands. Well, we tried hard. We'll take a draw step. Another up the beanstalk. Hold. Beanstalk. Deluge. Yeah, we're not winning this game. Let's scoop it up and get on to sideboarding. We're going to take out four solitude and endurance for three force of vigor and two force negations. We're going to take out four solitude and endurance for two force negation, two force of vigor, and a fluster storm. Game two, our starting hand looks quite strong. We will lead on turn one Misty. When it goes turn one Swamp into a Thoughtseize. Ah, taking our beanstalk. We find a nexus of fate. We'll play at our breeding pool tapped. When it plays a Swamp, we find an island. We will play out our Vantress. And on the incept, they flash in a Boatmasters. Or attacks in for two. Then plays out a Swamp. We find a Hallowed Fountain. We will fire off our ending on the Bowmasters. Then play out our Island. Or attacks in for one. Then plays a Swamp doing nothing else. Up the Beanstalk for us. Let's shock in our Hallowed Fountain and cast the Lord Revealed. Please, no Bowmasters. Game. <laughs> Gosh darn it. All right, this is okay. Totally fine. Totally fine. Oh, we're so dead. Opponent attacks in for six. We need a prismatic ending bad. I'm gonna play out an Urborg. We will play out our strand and cast our Teferi, which we will down tick on the orc. Nothing. Maybe we're okay. I'm gonna cast a Blood Chief's Thirst on our Teferi into a field rune attacking us. Oh man. Blooded Strand is a draw. It keeps us alive. So we will cast our Nexus of Fate. <laughs> Taking an extra turn. See what we can draw here. Nexus of Fate. Hopium. All right. Play a tapped land. Play another Nexus of fate please honestly if i just draw nexus of fate the rest of the game i'd be you know that'd be cool force negation not it Let's cast out and up the beanstalk ley line binding uh i can't even lay line binding this thing because it just kills me uh, yeah i guess we'll cast ley line binding orcish but wait Ugh. yeah we draw again finding a prismatic ending and yeah our opponent is gonna get us here dealing us two damage and that's exact so we will say ggs and only get a 4-1 close games though close games 
Overall, I was super impressed with this list. There are a few things that I thought were some very strange additions to the list. First of all, I don't think we need main deck endurances. They did help against the mill matchup. That was about it. Uh, more than one Elish Norn seems a little awkward. I did like the Shark Typhoon. Nexus Fate was great. Uh, I think I'd be on four Lorne Reveals, four Wilderness Reclamations, probably four Teferis up the beanstalk was super impressive i think if you go with four lauren reveals you could probably trim down on maybe one or two lands um but I i'd make some cuts add lauren revealed it was just super impressive up the beanstalk super impressive wilderness wreck was super impressive teferi is just like one of the best cards as for the land base i'd add one bant triome i just think that's worth it like a lot of the times i wanted to fetch like a bant triome just to have my mana underneath me and that just it just seemed like a big issue throughout the league uh you could cut one of these lands something somewhere but anyways this was a super fun league thank you very much gargoyle for the deck submission thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next video